Mary, the mother of Jesus, was at a wedding in which she had a role and responsibility when suddenly the wine ran out. This was a serious issue, not just a social embarrassment. When the wine was gone, Jesus' mother said to him, they have no more wine. She tells him about the trouble. She talks about it with him. They have no more wine. It's more than just a fact. It's a plea for help. Mary wasn't ordering Jesus around. She wasn't dictating to her son to be obedient to her. She was making an ask for help. And after making her plea, she stopped and then listened for what Jesus would say. Listening is perhaps the most challenging part of good communication. My mother always used to quip, you need to listen. It's important, which is why the Lord gave you two ears and one tongue. When you pray, do you take time to listen to the Lord's response? Listening to God means making sure that we seek the scriptures for what the Lord would say to our situation. It also means taking time to be still and quiet. It's taking time to allow the Holy Spirit to bring God's answer and reply to your heart and to your mind. And then we confirm it with God's word and through trusted counsel from Christian brothers and sisters. Mary speaks and then she listens and she waits. Let's do that now. Lord Jesus, we come before you and we have many things that we are concerned about in our lives. There are many places where the wine is run out and we're in need. Can we bring those requests before you now? You've invited us to do that. But help us also to react and listen instead of reacting and worrying. Help us to remain in this place where we can hear from you, confirm from your word and direct us with our response. Bless us now this week in Jesus' name. Amen.